Then for hyoid muscles, there are four muscles. As you can see in the diagram, this is the sternohyoid, and this muscle is the sternothyroid. They are both coming from the sternum and going all the way up. One is to the oblique line of the thyroid cartilage, that's why it's sternothyroid, and the other one is to the lower border of the hyoid bone, and that's why it's sternothyroid. Hyoid. This muscle that has a tendon in between is called the omohyoid muscle and it comes from the shoulder region from the scapula just closer to the suprascapular notch. The fourth muscle which is number one here is the thyrohyoid muscle. With the thyrohyoid we would like to talk about the origin, insertion, nerve supply and action. It originates from the oblique line of the thyroid cartilage and it inserts into the lower border of the hyoid bone and its action is to depress the hyoid bone or to elevate the thyroid cartilage if the hyoid bone is already fixed. The nerve supply is supplied by C1 nerve as part of the ANSA cervical. So if you go back to the four videos of the infrahyoid muscle, they are all supplied by the ANSA cervicalis. And they all do some movements with the hyoid bone, either depress the hyoid bone or elevate the thyroid cartilage or move the muscles of the larynx. To summarize, the infrahyoid muscles are four muscles below the hyoid bone, sternohyoid, sternothyroid, omohyoid, and thyrohyoid. They are all attached to the hyoid bone and they all depress the hyoid bone and they are all supplied by the ANSA cervicalis. And paralysis to these muscles, because they are very critical to moving the muscles of the larynx and also moving the whole bone, it can lead to dysphagia. Thank you.